Hello, this is Ineas from Tolerated Cinematics and today I will be showing you how to create something cool in Photoshop and this was requested by uh, a subscriber from me uh, he wanted to create something like a steel text, something like this over here um, so this is what we are going to create today in Photoshop uh, watch out any external plugins for the flares or anything like that so let's get started um, first of all we'll create a new file and just enter your dimensions right over here and then hit OK and then we're going to hold shift and press F5 on the keyboard and you'll get this window use a black color so black and yeah this should be normal and 100% and hit OK and then we're going to create a new layer or um, well we'll do that later so delete layer and take your text tool enter text that you want to um, be in steel so um, real steel uh, I know it's there is a movie about this um, but um, I don't know if it has to do anything with it uh, it's just as text uh, yeah don't search too much uh, after this so I'm going to take a fat text so probably Arial black um, yeah this looks pretty good and I'm going to get it into the middle of this uh, screen so if if you want to get it exactly in the middle of your window um, a lot of people don't know how to do this um, just select both of your um, layers so your background layer so a layer that is filled with um, the whole background and then take your layer that you want to center and then we're going right over here you can click on this one in the middle and this one and what that'll do is get your text in the middle but um, now we're going to change it to an optus uh, um, middle so a little bit more above so it's like more an eye catcher um, yeah but I'm not going to dig into this because yeah, it has nothing to do with this wallpaper so yeah let's get on with the tutorial uh, create a new layer hold shift to 5 again and get the, uh, the same window and hit ok now we're going to filter render or no um, noise add noise and we're going to add a lot of noise like 50% noise Gaussian and uh, distribution and monochromatic so not with colors but monochromatic uh, um, unless you want something different so you'll see the the outcome of this um, with the uh, with this noise we are going to create the metal uh, texture so hit OK now we're going to filter and we're going to blurs motion blur and now what you can do is get an angle and get it like yeah 120 or something like that or maybe um, a little bit less so you have more detail in your uh, metalish color thing so hit OK and then we're going to hold control and click on the thumbnail from the steel text layer so now what it will do uh, it will just give a selection of this text layer um, but we are still on the layer of our metal um, texture so what we're gonna do is hold shift and control at the same time and press I on the keyboard and then click delete and what that will do is as you can see create our um, text like this and uh, so now we can delete this text or just shut it off and we're going to edit on this one over here so right click it blending options we're going to bevel and emboss and um, right over here we are going to pick another bevel and a hard chisel so and then we're going to change this um, depth to something like 800 percent yeah that looks pretty cool and size 5 pixels is perfect um, let's see right over here let's take something different um, which one or just keep the original one yeah just keep the original one is the best way I guess and check anti-aliasing and then contour check this and also check the anti-aliasing and then we're going to stroke position inside and we're going to change the pixels to 5 pixels so now we have like a darker edge right over here I don't know if it has to be 5 yeah it has to be 5 okay there we go maybe 6 and then you have like a cool edge or yeah something like this I pretty much like this and then we're going to change the opacity to like um, 65 or 50 even 50 let's take 50 and then we're done for this one over here and we can just click OK right now so create a new layer above this layer 
and fill it again so shift f5 use a black color okay filter render clouds and now we'll go to image adjustments and curves to create some more contrast in the cloud so bring this all the way down right over here and this should be fine already I guess maybe even more over here okay like this and now we're going to channels red and take the red like so and the green also changes like so and hit OK so what we can uh, can do now is well we'll need more contrast first so even more contrast I guess and there we go and now we get this layer under the um, beneath the, the text layer so just drop down this okay so now we have something like this and we're going to take the erase tool right click on your window and then just change the size to like um, 100 pixels and the hardening uh, hardness 0% or just yeah depends on what you want so now erase some parts of this uh, of these clouds so something like that and then you'll cr create a cool effect I guess and there we go No, just keep this one over here. Okay, so now we can just rotate it and create a, make it smaller by con pressing Control T on the keyboard. You will get this transform, and then just rotate it just a little bit, or I don't know, depends on what you want again. Okay, erase a little bit more. Some details we're going to erase. There we go. And okay, oh, right over here, you see the screen. Okay, there we go. Um, so now we are going to create a new layer again. Fill it again with black hit OK, go to filter, render and we're going to take a lens flare right now so um, over here we'll pick the um, 105 millimeter prime and get it into the, the middle of the screen well not exactly because you can't really figure out where the middle is and I hate that because I want to see where the middle is but I'm um, okay doesn't matter, hit OK and then we're going to hold control and press T again to scale it and just make it a lot smaller now we're going to change this um, blend mode to add get it on top this and this should be the top layer uh, at the moment so now we're going to pick erase tool again right click make it a lot bigger so something like 300 pixels and, uh, just erase the edges of this flare so you don't see any um, yeah hard edges uh, so that's done and we're going to pick over here if you click over here and we're going to pick hue and saturation click colorize and change it to like a blue and doesn't matter if you see the background also changing because um, we'll change it later and the saturation all the way up a little bit less blue okay layers now hold uh, alt and click between these two layers so between the hue and saturation and the flare will click and then only the flare will be affected will uh, affect um, this blue hue and saturation so now we have the flare we can um, just duplicate the flare and shut one off so we have still the, the original one so if you want to edit something later on uh, if you scale it and you scale it it will get messy so just keep one original flare and then hold control and T on the new flare and then hold alt and make it a lot smaller just like this there we go now we have one stroke maybe even smaller than that okay there we go and then press um, go to the original flare again and duplicate it and oh I didn't tell uh, tell you guys how to duplicate just hold control and J on the keyboard or right click duplicate layer uh, so if you didn't know this uh, already you know it right now and shut the, the original off again so let's rename it to original double click on the layer original okay there we go um, now we'll scale this a lot down maybe a little bit thinner there we go and now again select both of these layers so the, the stroke and the flare the, the small flare not the original one we're gonna click this and this one so now it combines these two right click on the uh, on the two layers and merge layers okay I'm sorry 
there you go and again the mode will be add and there we go as you see um, it's a little bit bad edit um, well, I don't know how to tell this um, but um, I didn't erase it well at the beginning so you will have to change it or you will have to change it because yeah maybe you will have to start over if you want a cool effect there we go I'll keep it like this for the moment and now duplicate it again rotate uh, rotate it just a little bit and make it a lot smaller so so we have something like this okay and now again merge these layers at okay there we go make it smaller and just get it on a position that you want to to uh, affect the the lens for that uh, the lens flare too okay And you can again merge these layers together and again add because yeah the blacks need to be erased. You can also change it to screen if you don't want uh, want it to be too light and add. But um, as you can see, um, the hue and saturation isn't um, parented uh, anymore to the layer. So we hold Alt again and click between these two so it only affects this one. Um, but as you can see, it's a cool effect on the on the metal as, uh, as well. So let's do that as well. So just go to hue and saturation again colorize it but not as much right now so just take blue and saturation 20 and then hold alt between these two okay there we go what you can do as well is um, also get some uh, more contrast so brightness and contrast and I'm gonna change the brightness a little bit more and the contrast also something like that and I don't like the stroke to be so big and so big so I'm gonna change it to five and this emboss to three. Okay there we go. Hit okay um, and before we hit okay I'm sorry uh, let's add a drop shadow to create some realism in the background as you can see over here it's just um, an effect that sells the product so yeah hit okay and now for the last thing I guess um, what we can do is um, add some shine in the in the in the image itself so um, you can do this in two ways uh, you can duplicate this and right click oh get it above this hue and saturation and bind it again right click blending options and go to gradient and now what we can do is just uncheck these two just get the um, gradient overlay that's all we need and just create a metal uh, metal effect so a dark gray white over here again dark gray but another dark gray something like this a light gray dark white dark so now we have our um, metal looking effect and then just create new so you keep this um, gradient for always you, you don't have to do this all over just click over here and you'll have it so as you can see you create a lot of other uh, gradients so hit OK and OK and now just change it to an overlay I guess overlay um, yeah before you do that create a new layer and bind these two layers together so um, yeah now get it to overlay and as you can see uh, you have some dark areas on there and yeah just change your opacity a little bit less but um, you could have changed the, um, the angle as well uh, another thing I did over here is um, this shine effect over here. Um, I done that on this way um, by holding control and clicking the thumbnail again from the text and then I created a new layer and took my brush tool and took a white color and right click it and the hardness to 0% and like a size of 50 and then just I dragged like this in my text and changed the, this, uh, this layer to overlay as well. And as you can see, it's like a shine effect in my layer right now. So, yeah, that's on how to create its real steel effect. Um, maybe a little bit less hue and saturation. So you click on the hue and saturation, change the opacity just a touch, 50%. And I like this more than yeah before. So uh, I like this. Uh, I don't know what about you guys. Um, let's try something out as well. Duplicate this layer. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. 
and get it a little bit more okay and add I don't know to create some like a glow on your clouds I don't know yeah it's all up to you guys I'm just giving some hints on how to create cool things uh, I don't know if you think it's cool uh, I think it's cool so yeah thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you did please like it and favorite it uh, it will help me out uh, also check out my channel for other videos I have a lot of other tutorials for all of kind of soft uh, software so not only for Photoshop but also for After Effects and things like that so be sure to subscribe and keep updated because yeah you know, I will be uploading more tutorials soon so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye